So you want to learn how to shoot a knuckleball? Well, in this episode, I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to do that. But before we get any further, make sure you are mentally ready for the challenge, because mastering the knuckleball is the most difficult and advanced shooting technique in football. But if you do put in the work, nothing will stop you from learning it. Sounds like something for you? Awesome. Keep on watching. And I guess we can kick the whole thing off by defining what a knuckleball is. Basically, a knuckleball is moving unpredictably in the air, side to side, up and down, making it the goalkeeper's worst nightmare. And ultimately, what we are trying to achieve here is a ball flying in the air with as little spin as possible. Although many times, a successful knuckleball might have some top spin on it as well. And lastly, I would just like to make it very clear that this is by far not the only way to achieve a beautiful knuckleball. This is how I learned it, and my technique is very heavily inspired by Cristiano Ronaldo's legendary free kick goal against Portsmouth. The moment I saw that goal, I knew I wanted to learn this technique. So what I did, I downloaded the clip, watched the replay thousands and thousands of times, trying to mimic every single step he did in order to make the ball fly like that. Cristiano, was that the best free kick you've ever struck? It's difficult to say, but maybe, maybe this one is the best. So, let's kick the whole thing off with the run-up to the ball. But before we do that, keep in mind that everything I'm about to tell you will apply whether you are trying to achieve a knuckleball from a free kick situation or if the ball is moving. Anyways, like I told you, my technique is 100% inspired by Cristiano Ronaldo and the run-up he does is simply a little bit weird. You want to run up to the ball from a little bit of an angle. You don't want to have an exactly direct straight angle to the ball. And at the same time, you don't want to have as much angle as when you are kicking a curving free kick. You run to the ball on your tiptoes. And the last step, you kind of lift yourself up with your toes like this. If you watch Cristiano Ronaldo's free kick goals, you will see he will always make that same motion. Running to the ball, lifting himself up, almost preparing his foot for what's about to happen when he strikes the ball, like this. Whoop! And then he kicks. It's a very unnatural movement, especially if you're not used to running to the ball like this. Some people like to run up to the ball flat-footed, with their heels on the ground, all the way like this. But my way of doing that is approaching the ball, running on my tiptoes, and locking my ankle with the last step before kicking the ball once again like this. Now that we have the run-up lock in place, you want to know which part of your foot should you use to shoot a beautiful knuckleball. And for me, the sweet spot area is right around here. It's basically the area slightly away from your toes and more towards the laces, right up here. And I know a lot of you guys will tell me, guys like Kevin De Bruyne, David Lewis, and perhaps even some other YouTubers will tell you to shoot knuckleballs like this, with the inside of your foot. They approach the ball and shoot the ball like this. To me, that's unnatural, it doesn't work for me, and my style is kicking the ball with this part of my foot. And what do you want to do? You want to lock your ankle, point your toes down like this, and hit the ball with this area. And you should be solid. So, next up you want to know where in the ball should you kick. And honestly, pay attention, because to me, this is the most important part of achieving a beautiful knuckleball. Just think about it. If you hit the ball too much on the side, you're gonna get side spin. If you hit it too low and slice your foot under it, you're gonna get back spin. And like we learned in the beginning, we are trying to shoot the ball with as little spin as possible, if not with a little bit of beautiful top spin. And the way to achieve that is to hit the ball in the dead center, slightly on the lower half. The reason you wanna kick the ball slightly on the lower half of it is simply because if you hit the ball too high, it's not gonna have any air on it, and it's just gonna roll on the ground. Also, when shooting knuckleball free kicks, you've probably seen a lot of people searching for the valve and facing it towards them on their run-up like this. And while it's not gonna make the ball fly any more weird in the air, it is a very good thing to do because you actually get a visual reference on where the dead center of the ball is. But honestly, this tip is more for the people who just have a routine of shooting free kicks and they wanna do it the same way every single time. So, the last thing on our menu is the follow through. And long story very short, you wanna keep your follow through short and sharp while leaning over the ball like this. So compared to some other techniques out there, in order to shoot a beautiful knuckleball, you don't want to follow through by just letting your foot swing all the way up like this. And you don't want to stop your follow through completely after your initial contact with the ball. So basically what happens is that after you hit the ball, 
and you follow through quick and sharp, your foot is gonna go slightly across your body and what that does is makes your non-kicking foot drag along the ground like this. Don't worry about that movement, it just happens because your foot and your whole body weight is pushing you slightly on the side. So putting all the steps together, you approach the ball with your tiptoes, you prepare and lock your ankle on your last step before hitting the ball, kick the ball with the instep area right here in the dead center, follow through, lean over the ball and you're good to go. So next up I have some additional tips for you guys when you are out there practicing your knuckleballs. And my tip number one is to start your knuckleball training by shooting to a moving ball. For some reason, shooting knuckleballs to a moving ball compared to just kicking them from free kick situations is a lot easier. I don't know why, and the only explanation I've been able to come up with after all these years is that when the ball is rolling and moving forward, it already has some small top spin on it and as you kick it, I don't know what the reason is, but trust me when I tell you, shooting knuckleballs to a moving ball is easier, so start with that. My tip number two is the same tip I gave you earlier in the how to curve the ball free kick tutorial, which you can watch by clicking the eye icon in the top right corner of your screen. But basically what you wanna do is you wanna start practicing by kicking the ball uh, towards the wall. The good thing about that is that, well, as you can see, the ball will always come back to you. So you don't have to waste time on the pitch running after the ball after you miss the top corner. So shoot against the wall. Tip number three, don't give up on your training. Shooting knuckleballs is hands down the most difficult shooting technique in football. And depending on your skill level, mastering the knuckleball will take anywhere from months to years. So be consistent, stay positive and keep practicing. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this knuckleball tutorial and I truly hope you guys got inspired and are ready to go to the pitch for many many hours to work on your knuckleballs. Once again, it's gonna take you a long time to learn. So don't give up, stay consistent and most importantly, have fun. And I'm gonna cut it right there. Once again, hopefully you guys had a blast watching this episode and what I need you to do is leave a comment in the comment section below and let me know which shooting technique you would like to learn next here on Unisport Web TV. You can watch how to curve the ball by clicking the video right down here. And if you wanna see more awesome videos like this, click here to subscribe. Again, stay consistent, don't give up, and work on those knuckleballs. I'm out. <laughs>